Hello my friends, this is Maisie from Maisie's Meals. Thank you for coming to my channel today. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make Ethiopian food, actually vegetarian Ethiopian food. Um, I'm going to make a couple of them. One of them is misser. Misser means lentil. It's a lentil stew made from onions, garlic, ginger, tomato paste, and berberry. And another one is cabbage made with cabbage, uh, carrots, onions, ginger, and tomato paste. And also I'm going to use tamarack on it. And uh, Ethiopians always serve their food, whether it is vegetarian or a meat dish with this flatbread that is called injera. Injera is made out of a flour which is a very nutritious flour, gluten free and that's what we uh, Ethiopians serve the food with. And also there is no utensils needed. You use your finger to just grab the food with the injera and then eat it like that. Uh, I'm going to put on the description box where you can find injera. Any local Ethiopian re restaurant or Ethiopian stores should have injera on hand. I'm going to put a couple of links in the description box. And also there are lots of recipes on how to make injera. Uh, also, I'm going to use this spice that's called berberi. It's, ber it's like a... Berberi is like a paprika but more like seasoning and more stuff added to it. You can find Burberry also in the Ethiopian store, uh, also at Whole Foods today and some Whole Foods carry them. And also I go to this spice place called Penzis in the Dallas area. They also carry Burberry there. I'm going to put uh, some links for you for that too. And if you're new to my channel, and you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe and also hit the notification button so you can get notified whenever I put out any recipe that will also support my channel thank you so much and hope you enjoy the show in a medium pot add two medium diced onions olive oil about two tablespoons of olive oil or three tablespoons of olive oil and stir until the onion is cooked or translucent and stir well Add about one tablespoon and a half of ginger and garlic mixture and go ahead and mix well and cook. When you cook Ethiopian food it needs a lot of stirring and a lot of cooking well. So the spices are mixed well. Go ahead and add tomato paste. About one or two tablespoon tomato paste. Once that is mixed well and cooked well, we can add some salt to it. And when you add salt, just add whatever you think is good amount and you can adjust it later by adding more if it's not enough salt. Add about two tablespoons or three tablespoons of berberi. Berberi is spicy, so depending to your taste, you could add two tablespoons or one tablespoon. So if you cannot handle the spice, the lesser the better.
and then now add the lentils i wash my lentils real thoroughly and then also boil it for a couple of minutes so it's easier to cook and it it makes the cooking process faster and go ahead and mix it well just like so and once it's mixed make sure you stir it well because mister or lentil tends to stick to the pot uh, so it needs to be stirred like occasionally so it doesn't stick and then add about two or three cups of water and let the lentil simmer and like i said make sure you stir occasionally and uh, turn on the uh, the heat to a low so it simmer slowly and let it simmer about 20 25 minutes and it should be ready to be served now we're going to do the cabbage on a pan add oil and then once the oil is heated add carrots sliced carrots about two or three medium carrots sliced and let that is sauteed or fried a little bit. Once that is done, take it out of the pan, completely out of the pan. And then we're gonna add in the same pan, diced onions, about uh, half of a large onion diced. And cook the onion well until it's translucent. And we're gonna add some ginger and garlic to the onion. About a teaspoon. And stir and mix well. Add tomato paste about a tablespoon of tomato paste to the onion and ginger mixture and mix well just stir 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 and you get this kind of consistency and then we're gonna add the cabbage I had a, a small cabbage and I diced that to a bite size and, and then add it to the pan it looks like it's a lot of cabbage but once the cabbage cooks down it should be good so cabbage will cook down quickly so go ahead and try and mix it with the tomato onion and ginger uh, mixture and mix it well and let it cook down Add some salt and also pepper and mix well. See look how the cabbage is just wilting and 
taking all that flavor in and uh, add some turmeric turmeric and about a teaspoon of turmeric and just mix well that is going to give it a vibrant color and also turmeric is good for you you know it's a good uh, uh, spice In the meantime, I prepared some simple salad, just some greens, chopped greens, chopped tomatoes, chopped red onions, and jalapenos, lemon juice, or an uh, extra virgin olive oil, some uh, black pepper and salt, and mix it well. So this is this will be good to be served with lentil, the lentils and the cabbage. at that it looks really good now on the injera put mister and some of the salad that we just made and the cabbage on the other side of the mister just like so Look at that. Isn't that colorful? I love eating Ethiopian vegetarian food. My kids love it too. And I hope you enjoy it also. And uh, here is how it's you grab the food with the injera and eat it like this. This is Yonata showing you how to eat it. But I'm Arif now. What <laughs> does that mean, but I'm Arif? So good. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.